Have you ever wanted to play great Steam games on your Mac, like The Elder Scrolls IV or Oblivion or Final Fantasy VII that were only released for Windows? Well, now nah, you can. Just watch this the tutorial and figure out how. Let's get to it. Now to do this, you're going to want to go into your web browser, search wine bottler, go to the first link, and when this loads, which will, go into the, well, download the latest development version, download, I'm gonna not download it, but after it's done, you wait five seconds, then hit the thing, well the skip add, then it'll download, I'll we'll show you, let you download in a minute, there it downloads, and then you leave page if you're going back, I already have this downloaded, so when it's downloaded, you open up the installer, and drag the application into your applications folder. Then on your go into your applications folder, and you should see an application called well two of them, wine and wine bottler. You want to open up wine bottler, and it will update the wine bottler environment and download some stuff when it's new. So then you're on this. These are a ton of Windows programs that you can get right away for stuff. You can get stuff like Notepad plus plus. But really what this video is about is Steam. So you go here and hit install. And it will tell you all this. I'd save it to my desktop. Then you hit save. And I'll replace I don't want to replace mine. But then it will download to your desktop. And after a while, it will install. And you should have an application like this. So it says Steam. Obviously, you open it up, it's going to close, but then it's going to open again with a wine application. At least it should. Yep. And then you can close out of that, and you have Steam for PC running on your Mac. And just to prove it, I'm going to launch Final Fantasy VII. Every time it's going to install Microsoft DirectX for Windows. And Final Fantasy VII works really well, well on well, with Wine. Runs perfectly. Then it will tell you to return, then you can return to Windows and everything. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. Thank you for watching.